given here we are having an integration of 1 plus x cos x by x into 1 minus x square into e power 2 sin x so let us see how to solve this problem <coughs> sorry if you go on for further i will be having integration of 1 plus here it is x cos x and if you check about the denominator i can write it as x into 1 minus see this is in the form of e power of sin 2x so uh, i will write it as a sin x the whole square why because what is this a power of m whole power of n is nothing but a power of mn i will be applying the same thing here is it okay this i'll write it as x into e power of sin x for x square this one i'll make it as a whole square into dx is it clear if you have any doubts you just let me know <coughs> from this what i can do after looking into this i was getting a simple logic simply let us consider i'll make x e power of sin x try to make it as a t if i make this as a t in the substitution let us try to differentiate this function with respect to x if i differentiate i have to apply the product rule what is product rule uv derivative is nothing but u dash v plus u v dash same thing i was going to apply here first term x derivative will be 1 into e power of sin x as it is plus x as it is and e power of sin x derivative as you can see we have a formula e power of sin x derivative will be e power of x derivative will be e power of x and internal derivative for the sine what is the internal derivative for the sine function this will be simply the cos x function is it okay i'll be writing the same thing here so what i can write this is e power sin x into cos x the whole thing will be for dx and right side it will be dt is it okay let me draw the line let me differentiate this is the rough work and this is a normal work so what i can do i can simply take e power of sin x common from this if i do i'll be getting 1 plus x cos x into dx is equals to dv is it clear so if you see the numerator what you'll be having you'll be having the same thing so let us simply try to rearrange whatever is unnecessary try to leave it is it okay so from this what i can say 1 plus x this is i can make it as a cos x the whole thing into dx is equals to dt by e power of sin x is it clear if you have any doubts you just let me know so now what i'll be doing i'll be substituting here which implies integration of so i can write a 1 plus x cos x will be dx will be what simply dt by e power sin x simply keep your x as it is and this will be 1 minus x e power sin x is t so i'll be making it as a t square if i move on for further integration of 1 by if you check these terms x into e power sin x both are in denominator this is nothing but our t here is it okay so simply i'll be making this as a t this is 1 minus t square into dt is it clear any doubts up to here now if you want to this if you want to do this problem what we have to do you have to use the using partial fraction i'll teach you how to do the partial fractions also is it okay what is meant by partial fractions whenever if you are not able to solve this integration or whenever if you have anything in the form of a, some linear equation which is ax plus b and some quadratic let us assume px square plus qx plus c actually i can rewrite let me inter remove the symbol of integration this product of the terms actually i can rewrite it as a sum of the terms so that i can integrate easily if you have a linear term i'll be getting a a in the numerator which is in the form of ax plus b and if you have a quadratic i should get a linear which is bx plus c by denominator will be quadratic this is how i'll be doing here so i'll be giving you the separate video how to do the partial fractions and all for time being try to take it as a granted is that clear yeah so now let us see here so here you can apply this formula like this whenever you are not able to write this in terms of a product of a uh, two linears if i can rewrite it as a product of a two linears that is ax plus b which is cx plus d which is lx plus m simply i'll be rewriting for the linear terms i'll be using the same thing here is it clear so let me give you how to do this <coughs> sorry let me zoom out i think it is a too much view. Uh, just a second narrow uh, so i think this is fine so let us take this as an equation number one i need to find the integration for this before finding an integration let me take this only term which is one by t into uh, this is in the form of a square minus b square we have a formula that is a plus b into a minus b as i said i i have a linear equation how to rewrite simply take a constant a in the numerator times t plus b by 1 plus t plus c by 1 minus t this is how i'll be doing 
how we'll be getting all these methods and all i'll be doing the another video how to do the partial fractions method okay you can check that so let me continue i can actually rewrite it as 1 by t into uh, this is t plus 1 times 1 minus t and if you look into the problem i can make an lcm lcm will be t times this will be simply 1 plus t into 1 minus t what is the a's coefficient whatever here a's denominator is t other than t i have to take the rest of the terms that is how you can remember easily okay so a's denominator is t other than t i'll be taking rest which is 1 plus t into 1 minus t plus what is b's denominator which is 1 plus t i have to multiply with other than that one this is t into 1 minus t similarly what is our c's denominator 1 minus t i have to write the other one which will be what t plus 1 into t is it clear if you look into the problem i can simply cancel denominators both the sides simply so i'll be getting one is equals to multiply this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b what is the formula for that a square minus b square plus let me multiply this b into multiply t inside this is t minus t square plus c into multiply t inside this is t square plus t okay so now let us do one is equals to i'll be going there are many methods to find the abc's uh, I will be going with the general method. There is a, some uh, shortcut trick also. I will be teaching you in the partial fractions topic. Okay. Let us continue. If I multiply this uh, inside, this will be a minus a t square plus b t minus b t square and this will be c t square plus c t. So, what I will be doing? I will be doing the comparing the com coefficients. Comparing. I will be doing comparison. What I will be doing? I will try to compare x square terms coefficients. If I check this term, this term, this term, we are having how many x square coefficients? 3. So, the left hand side is 0. So, 0 is equal to, so I will make it as a minus a plus, uh, okay, both are minus. Let me rewrite properly. It should be minus a minus b plus c. Let us compare t terms. What are the t terms here? This one and this one. So, there is no t. I will be making again it as a 0, which is b plus c. Then I'll go with the constant terms. I'll compare the constant terms. So what are the constant terms? Left hand side will be one. Right hand side, no variable is a constant. So simply what I'll be getting? A. So I got A as a one. Is it clear? So if A is one, I'll be substituting here. Zero is equals to minus one minus B plus C. From this, I'll be getting B is what? B is equals to minus C. Let me substitute. Send one to here. One is equals to B value will be what? minus c plus c so 1 is equals to c plus c will be 2c so from here i will be getting what c is nothing but 1 by 2 is it clear if c is 1 by 2 b value will be simply minus 1 by 2 this is how i got a b c what i'll be doing i'll be taking a b c and i'll be substituting in our original equation what is my original here so let me just check it for further i can simply go for the original what is a here let me show you here I can write it as a we are having which is a 1 I will be rewriting it as a 1 by t what is our b b is minus 1 by 2 times 1 plus t and if you check about the c what is our c c will be plus c is a 1 by 2 so I got 1 by 2 times t plus 1 is it clear so if you want you can uh, take everything whatever I have written on the left hand side this is a rough work okay so this one I will be I need to do an integration part is it clear so I'll be trying to do the same thing here. If I do the same thing, what I'll be getting here? Let us do an integration here. Simply, um, let me go with this. Integration of the same term. Actually, I think you know, 1 by t minus 1 by t. I'll take it out. Integration of 1 by 1 plus t plus 1 by 2. Again, I'll take it out. And uh, C's denominator will be, it should be 1 minus t. I'm so sorry for that. Let me rewrite. This is 1 minus t. So, C's denominator will be 1 by 2 integration is outside. This is 1 minus t. Let us integrate. So, as we already know 1 by t, what is the integration? It will be a log t. I will be applying the same thing here. So, this will be log t and this will be minus 1 by 2 into log of 1 plus t. Same formula. And this will be 1 by 2 into log of 1 minus t. And always x coefficient is there, right? So, that should come outside. So, I will be making this term as simply minus 1. Is it clear? What is our t? According to our question, I have substituted here. t is nothing but what? x into e power of sin x. So, I will be trying to do the same here. I know that t is nothing but x into e power sin x. Is it clear? So, I will be doing the same thing here. Let me rewrite. This will become log of x into e power sin x. <coughs> Sorry. Minus 1 by 2 into this is log of 1 plus. 
if you want you can apply log a minus log b or not better you can stop according to the options you can go x into e power of sin x minus and this term will be 1 by 2 into log of 1 plus oh, sorry 1 minus e power x into e power of sin x plus c so this is how we'll be doing the formula if you have any doubts you just let me know i think uh, i have did, uh, did everything if you have any doubts let me know thank you